Hi, this is Eric Anderton, and I would like to share with you today about how LinkedIn can be your portal to a rewarding career if you learn how to use it correctly. And a little bit about me, I have 7,000 plus connections on LinkedIn. It's my uh, main social media channel for my business. I've made many great connections in the construction industry over the years, and I know that LinkedIn is a terrific way for you to really connect with people in the construction industry if you learn how to use it correctly. And, this, and that is what this presentation is all about. So there's three things we're going to talk about. Number one, what is LinkedIn? Number two, why it's important? And number three, how to use it? So what it is, is the world's largest professional network. And I do want to make that emphasis on professional. And I'll tell you why that's important here in a moment. Number two, it's a great way to connect with potential employers. So as you're getting into the job market in the next few years, you can use LinkedIn to begin to build a profile of your experiences, the in internships you do, the positions that you take. You can begin to connect with people in the arenas, in the areas that you want to find work in and begin to build relationships with them. As you know, on social media uh, channels, it's all about building relationships over the long term. So you want to take that long term perspective when you're using LinkedIn. OK, and how to use it? Well, we're going to talk about how to build a profile, how to determine your target audience and then how to grow your network. So those are the things we're going to be covering here today in this short presentation. OK, what is LinkedIn? It's the world world's largest professional network. And I want to make that emphasis. It is a professional network. It is not Facebook. It is not Instagram. And it's definitely not TikTok. <laughs> so all those social media sites have their place. They have their application. LinkedIn is a little bit different. Frankly, it's a bit boring. Okay, it's not super exciting. You're not going to get a whole bunch of funny memes on LinkedIn. You'll get the occasional political post, but not really. You'll get the occasional meme as you're around, you know, various times of the year, maybe a patriotic post here or there, but really it's all about business. Okay, but it is very effective. So it's a bit boring, but it is very effective. It's very effective um, for you particularly to figure out who is working at various organizations and who you want to connect with and talk to about potentially working in those companies. OK. All right. Now, let me tell you why it's important. It's a great way to connect with potential employers. OK, so we're going to talk about how to use it, and that's where we're going to spend most of our time here. So I'm going to open up real quick here to my LinkedIn profile just so that you can see one that has been developed over a number of years. OK, so let me just click on that and bring it up so you can see here that my LinkedIn profile is right there. So you see my company name is Construction Genius. Here's a photograph and then you'll see my name and what I do. And this is the headline. The headline's really key, um, particularly in what uh, LinkedIn is all about. And what I'd like to say is LinkedIn is all about you selling yourself to potential employers. Um, good help is hard to find, particularly in the construction industry. So you're getting into a terrific industry where you can really build a tremendous career, whether it be in architectural, engineering, or in construction, whether it be in the field or the office, administration, the financial part of it, wherever you choose to play in the construction industry, man, you've got a terrific opportunity. So you'll see here the title, the headline that I have here. I help construction company owners and executives save time and money by coaching them how to create clear strategies, motivate and lead their teams, and sell profitable work to great clients in the right locations. Now, obviously, your headline is not going to be like mine, but my headline is designed to attract the particular types of people that I want to connect with on LinkedIn. So when you're building your profile, you'll want to think of putting together a headline that talks about the type of work that you're looking for, perhaps, or the uh, things that you like to do and target it for the employers that you would like to attract. Uh, you'll notice here I have 7,930 followers. I have over 7,000 connections. So, I, you know, I, I really built this over the years. 
Um, and you'll notice here, as you go down the LinkedIn profile, that um, I have all of my experience here. And again, when you're starting out in your career, you're not going to have a lot of uh, stuff under the experience. Don't worry about it. You're committed to playing long-term games with long-term people. Let me just encourage you, the construction industry is a long-term kind of business. So if you commit to construction for your career, you can be sure that you'll always have some place to play, if you know what I'm talking about. And you'll notice here I have my education, my, uh, my college background, I have some licenses and certificates, some volunteer experience, some skills and endorsements. So you can really build out your profile on LinkedIn. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sign out of my profile and um, I'm going to sign in to my son's profile, and he hasn't actually, I just created this for him on the sly, um, but I did it so I can show you how to begin to build a LinkedIn profile. So you would click over here on the profile, and you see here you can edit your public profile and URL, um, and you'll see here that I don't have any kind of uh, background image, banner image selected for him yet, but you can do that. You can upload a photo, you can create your own, so you can, you can do whatever you like as far as that's concerned. You guys know how to create a social media profile. The key though, I think, is the headline that goes under here and the type of photograph that you have right here. So I don't have a photograph here for Isaac, but you know, if I was going to add a photo, um, I would upload one here. And let's say um, I'm gonna go over here to my pictures and I'm gonna go to the headshot. And this is kind of a, a professional, uh, professional picture of me, but you want to uh, create a professional sort of image on LinkedIn. It's not a casual image. Again, it's not TikTok. It's not Twitter. It's not Snapchat. It's not Facebook. It's LinkedIn. So it's a professional type of profile. So you would save your photo there and then you would put your headline in here. You see you can open this up and you'll see the headline right here, which is really, really important. You can then add your current position if you're doing anything um, as far as uh, you know, working at a particular position, you can add your education, your region, you can uh, customize the industry. You would go up here, by the way, and you would go down to construction, boom. Construction has tons of contacts in LinkedIn. You can create your own um, uh, profile URL if you wanna do that, otherwise it will create one for you. And that's basically how you do a LinkedIn profile. It's pretty straightforward. You guys know how to do all of that, but just remember, it's professional. It's professional. So I'm gonna go back here to my profile for you here real quick, because I wanna show you a couple more things about LinkedIn that is, is uh, kind of cool. What you'll notice here in, in my profile is that I have a, a variety of different um, interests here, such as um, construction executive. You can go down here and you can, um, you've got your skills and endorsements. So if you have like teachers who are on LinkedIn, or people that you've worked for who are on LinkedIn and they can give you a recommendation on LinkedIn, that would be absolutely wonderful. You'll see here that you can get some interests um, that you can uh, track and you can, you can really begin to build relationships with people in your organization. So what I would do is, for instance, I would search under the name of a, um, uh, a company. Let's say you wanted to go into, a, um, be an electrician or something like that. You can search Royal Electric Company, which in Sacramento is one of the largest uh, construction companies in the electrical arena. And you'll see here, they have 182 employees on uh, LinkedIn. So you can click here and you can search on the various different people who work there, right? So you've got the CFO right there. Um, you've got the vice president. You've got a variety of different people and you could even begin to look for folks who might be involved in hiring or even people that you might know who work at the, uh, the company. You'll notice here that um, these are all my first connections. Uh, you can also have uh, second connections and third, connect third level connections depending on how closely uh, you're related to them via the connections on LinkedIn. So I do this just to show you that you can search by particular companies that you might be interested in, particular industries that you might be interested in and begin to build relationships with them. Now when you're connecting with people, this is what I do. Um, particularly if I don't know them directly, I'm going to add a note here and I'm just going to go carry um, I noticed that we share connections in common and a commitment to the construction industry. Good to connect, Eric. And then I send them a personal note. And then you'll notice here also on LinkedIn, 
and again, you may not be doing this right out of the gate, but on my profile, I share insights. Like for instance, I uh, shared an article this, this, um, this morning about construction um, accounting firms. One, uh, people that I know over at BFBA, they were listed on the top 50 construction accounting firms in the nation. And so I put that onto uh, LinkedIn, gave them a congrats, gave them a little bit of a shout out. Um, I post videos and stuff like that on LinkedIn as part of my uh, marketing um, uh, activities. Uh, you may not be doing that yourself, but you know what? One thing, cool thing you could be doing is as you're learning about the construction industry, you might actually uh, track your development and chronicle your development in the construction industry. Post that stuff on LinkedIn. I guarantee that you're going to get some interaction with that. People will love to see it because these construction companies, they're always looking for talented people who are excited about being um, in construction. So begin to build your LinkedIn profile, begin to post things that are appropriate for business. Again, it's not much for memes. It's not much for, you know, cat videos and stuff like that. It is a bit boring, but if you find your target audience and you really, really go after them, you can build some killer relationships. And so that's what I want to encourage you to do is to think about who is my target. If you want to get into electrical, for instance, you should search on electrical companies in your area. If you want to get into concrete, if you want to be with general contractors, if you're into architect um, companies or engineering companies, you really want to search for those on LinkedIn and begin to build relationships with them, just like you would build relationships with people through Facebook and other social media channels. Okay. So going back over here, um, again, we talked about why, what it is. It's the world's largest professional networking site, why it's important. It's a great way to connect with potential employers and how to use it build a profile, determine your target, and then grow your network. And as I said, I have thousands of um, uh, connections on LinkedIn. I've used it really successfully. If you connect with me on LinkedIn, just search for Eric Anderton, you'll find me there. Um, it's all about construction. You'll notice here my hashtag, Strategy Leadership Construction and Construction Genius Podcast. So I have a podcast as well that I use to promote myself on LinkedIn. But you can connect with me and I'm happy to promote you as someone who's interested in the construction industry to my followers. And uh, you may get some connections as a result of that. So use LinkedIn as it's meant to be used as a professional business uh, web uh, network so that you can develop your business network and really grow your career in construction. Hope you found this helpful. Contact me anytime with questions and uh, thanks for watching.